Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. fast approaching, the day of Sarah's wedding to Sidney Schiffbein. And here's Sarah now with her younger sister, Yetta, and Yetta speaks. What are you going to do tonight? Nothing, Yetta. Well, do you want to go to the movies with me and Arnold? No, thanks. Why not? Well, I think Sidney will be back, and he said he'd rush up here the minute he got in town. And you're going to sit around and wait for him? Sure, why not? Well, suppose he doesn't come in until tomorrow. He'd better show up. Where's he been? Philadelphia. Gee, you sound like you're mad. Well, it seems to me he goes to Philadelphia every second day. Maybe he's got a lot of business there. Sure, big business, dancing. What do you mean? Well, I heard Mrs. Fink tell Mother that every time he goes to Philadelphia, he takes that red-headed Isaacs girl dancing. There's no law against it. Well, I'll pass a law against it. Don't be a sap. What do you want him to do when he's in Philly? Well, he doesn't have to go dancing. Maybe he likes to dance. As a matter of fact, I know he does. But not with her. I'm going out. I'm not going to get into any long discussions. But I think you're crazy if you say anything to him. Well, what do you expect me to do? Let him get away with... Let him get away with what? With taking her out every time he gets there. Dancing and... I suppose they stop somewhere for a bite to eat and everything. I'm going to get out of the house before he gets here. I don't want any part of it. There he is. You let him in. You want to see him, you let him oh, in. Oh, please, yet I want to wash my face. You better fix up your eyes or he'll know you've been crying. Me crying? You're crazy. Oh, I guess your eyes got red from laughing. Oh, please answer it, Yetta. Oh, gee. Hello, Yetta. Hello, Sid. When did you get in? Oh, about ten minutes ago. Where's Sally? She'll be in in a minute. And listen, before she comes, I just want to tell you that you'd be... Hello, oh. kid. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Why the icicles? I hope you had a nice time in Philadelphia. Oh, it was all right? Sure, it's all right. Good dancing, pretty girl. Dancing? What are you talking about? Well, you pardon me if I run along. I hate wars. Hey, what in the dickens is going on here? Well, Sally will tell you all about it. Well, I wish somebody would tell me. She'll tell you, don't worry, and at the top of her voice. Yetta, please attend to your own business. My business is going out. Goodbye. Well, why don't you explain? Explain what? I suppose you don't know. No, I don't know. It's a shame you don't have your friend Miss Isaacs of Philadelphia explain for you. Oh, so that's it. Not that it makes any difference to me what you do when you're away. Or for that matter, not that I care what you do here or away. But it seems to me that if you have to go dancing, the least you could do is to pick out a girl with a little style or something instead of just an old fool like that dizzy redhead. I think she's all right. You're probably in love with her. Oh, don't be a high school girl. Well, don't you be a high school boy. What's this all about? I suppose you deny that every night while you were in Philadelphia, you took that dumb dame out dancing into dinner, into the theater, into movies, and goodness knows where else. Well, I certainly do deny it. You never even saw her, I suppose. I didn't say that. Well, what did you say? I said that I didn't take her out hardly at all. Well, that's too bad. Maybe you could find some excuse to move to Philadelphia, and then you could be with her every night. Have you lost your mind making all this disturbance about nothing? You call taking out a girl nothing. I guess that's what you think when you take me out. Oh, stop, will you please, honey? Don't honey me, you... Now, you. darling, take Take your hands off of me. Now, wait a minute. I'm sorry I took her out, but it didn't mean a thing. And besides, it only happened twice. But after all, there's no occasion for you to raise all this fuss about it. I wanted to dance, and I happened to think of her, and that's all there was to it. I'm sorry, but I can't kill myself. Let's forget all about it. Sure, let's forget all about it. 
And then the next time we can forget about it again. This is a fine welcome for a guy. Why don't you go to Philadelphia? You can probably get the kind of a welcome you want from that imitation redhead. Go ahead. I wouldn't think of stopping you. Any more of this and I might go. Well, what are you waiting for? You want me to go? I wouldn't think of keeping you away from your true love. Listen, stop this monkey business or I am going. That square thing in back of you is the door. Oh, so that's the way you feel about it. Why, Mr. Shipping. Oh, that's Mama. Hello, Sydney. Hello, Ma. Hello, Sally. I tell you, love is a wonderful thing. Everybody else has to go out to be happy. But when two young people are in love, all they have to have is each other and they let the rest of the world go bye-bye. Ma, Sally and I were just talking. I know. Just talking about the sun and the moon and the stars. Ay, it's beautiful to be romantical. Yes, it must be. I always say there's nothing like a happy couple. And the first thing for a young couple to learn is not to be jealous. You know, that's one nice thing about mine, Sally. There's not a jealous bone in her head. Not even a sliver. I should say not. That's the reason I know you and she'll never have a argument. If anything comes up that looks like it ain't what it is, all you got to do is to explain it to her. And she'll understand in a minute what another girl wouldn't get if you talked until your hands hurt you. Other girls won't listen, but mine Sally is fair and impractical. You mean impartial, I more. mean honest and above wood. Above board, What's mother. What's the difference? What's the difference? What I mean is she'll let you explain. Sure I will, if there's any explanation possible. Sally, always is there an explanation possible. There's a reason for everything. Sometimes you can't see it. But it must be there. I don't think so. Oh, well, do you know everything? Are you the British cyclone? You mean Encyclopedia Britannica, Ma. I mean the big books you pay $3 a month for. I know, the first one's got a funny name. A. Ab. Oh, it's a beautiful book. It's a wonder they don't make it into a moving picture. I bet it'd be good. Clark Gable could be the hero. You mean Clark Gable. Gable, Gable, what's the difference? Uh, <laughs> here I am talking and everybody's so quiet. Uh, what's the matter? Did the cat eat up your tonsils? Nothing. Even nothing is something. Come on, tell me. Do I have to cross x-ray you? Well, it's, it's just that Mr. Shiffin oh, and I... Oh, so it's Mr. Shiffin. Ah, that's a bad sign. The worst thing is when you're so mad that you're polite. Oh, I'm not mad. Me either. Uh, now that I stop talking and take a sneaking snoop, I can see you two are just boasting with gladness. Listen, Ma. Do you think it's right that Sydney should Wait go... a minute, Sally. I'm your mother, and I love you. And anything that you ask me, you can get. But to become a judge, to try a case between you and your financier? No, sir, not me. I'm no fool who rushes in where an angel would trip. But you have to. Yes, Ma, you got to settle Wait this. Wait a minute. All right, I'll do it. I know I'm a fool, but if I live another day or two, it won't be the last time I do something foolish. Go ahead. One poison talk at a time. Only one. I've got two ears, but only one head. Well, well Sally said that I am dancing oh, while I... How many is one poison? Sydney, let Sally talk first. Then after she's through, you can tell me your side. That way, we'll have both sides done right like a waffle. Go ahead, Sally. The court is opened up. When Sydney was in Philadelphia every night, he... It wasn't every night. It was every night. It was twice. I don't even know what he did, and you're already arguing how many times he did it. He took that terrible red-headed Isaacs girl dancing, and, and to dinner, and the theater, and movies, and he kissed her. He kissed her? I did not. He did, too. I know it. How do you know it? You got maybe evidence? I can feel it in my bones. Look, Sally, even Sydney's kisses ain't so good that if he kisses a girl in Philadelphia, you can feel it here. I didn't kiss her. I know you didn't, Sydney. But even if you did... Maybe it's an old Philadelphia customer. You mean custom? I mean habit. Say, how can you tell what they do there? In China, people rub noses. Sydney, did you do it? Honest, I didn't. Did you take it to a picture show? No. Not even a newsreel? No, not even once. Did you take it to the theater? I was busy every evening till after 10. Did you take it to dinner? Not even a sandwich. But dancing, you took it? Twice. So the crime of which you are accused is that you went dancing? He shouldn't have done it. But he did it. I should say he did do it. All right, he took a dancing. Is there a statue against it? You mean statue. I mean law. And I'm going to be the judge and jury, and I'm going to give up a decision. Well, I wish you would, Ma, because I know you're going to say that I'm right, because she has no right to get so sore at me just because I went dancing a couple of times. Not a chance. In the first place, she's my mother. In the second place, you've got a swell nerve going out with another girl. The fact that I am to your mother can't be a reason that I should make an indecision that wouldn't be right. And besides, when I tell you what I think, you'll both be disappointed. But can I help it? It's a bad stove that'll only fry one side of the chicken. Well, what do you say? Yeah, come on, tell us. You're both wrong. 
And I'll prove it to you. How can we both be wrong? Well, sure, that's impossible. One of us has to be right. No, Sidney. Both of you is wrong. But don't one of us have to be right? No. In the first place, Sidney had no right to go dancing. You see, I told you. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Sidney had no right to go dancing because he knows that with a girl who flies off the hatchet at every little thing he does, he should be more careless. And in well, the Sally second doesn't place... fly off the handle every minute, Ma. You're sticking up for her, Sidney. Whose side are you on? Look, in the second place, Sidney is wrong because if he's engaged up with a girl, he shouldn't take out a much more pretty girl dancing. Oh, that Isaac Stame isn't half as pretty as Sally, and you know Let it. Let me finish. Now, coming around to the other side of the revoice, Sally is wrong. Because if she's going to marry her with a fellow that has got so little sense that he'll go out with another girl when he's away, she should keep her mouth shut for shame. Oh, Ma, Sidney didn't think what he was doing. Wait a minute. In the second place, Sally is wrong, because there isn't a world we are living in so little happiness that we shouldn't make a fuss about a tiny little thing and maybe spoil the whole rest of her life for a couple of dances and making a man feel chicken peck. Hen peck, Ma. Is anybody right? Now tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Ma. Nobody's right but you. And most of the time, I'm wrong. Oh, no, Ma. You're right, absolutely right, and, and I'm sorry, too. Don't be so sorry. Just remember next time. Say, you ought to be both glad that I'm telling you these things. Nobody told me. I had to find out for myself. And believe me, your father was no bargain. He was always getting mad at me. In my whole life, I never saw such a temperature. Oh, but Ma... Listen, I'll tell you the whole secret. If you don't want your husband to take somebody else dancing... All you got to do is to be sure you are such a good dancer that he wouldn't want to go with some redhead. I guess that's right. And if you got a wife that you know will throw frying pans if you go out, and you don't like to play with Pat's baseball, then all you got to do to stop her is not to go out. Well, it sounds easy. Sure, but suppose your husband wants to go dancing some night when you want to stay home. My dear child, if your husband wants to go out and you don't know a way to make him stay home with you, then nobody can tell you. Look at me. I'm old and I'm fat. And yet if Papa wants to go out and I want him to stay home, still we stay home. Oh, I get it. You vamp him. No, darling. I hide his shoes. <laughs> 